something you may already know about the drama surrounding the indie animation company Glitch Productions. If you don't know what Glitch is, again, it's an indie animation company known for shows like Meta Runner, Sunside Paradise, and most notably, The Amazing Digital Circus, which blew up in popularity out of nowhere. At the time I'm recording this, is currently at 300 views, but um, yeah. At about a month ago, as I'm recording this, I know, I I'm super late. One of the voice actors for Glitch and SMG4, Celeste Notley Smith, went onto Twitter and found out that she lost her job without any indication. No emails, no announcement from Glitch, nothing. Just out of the blue. If you don't know, Celeste Notley Smith is, or in this case, was the voice actor of Tari in the SMG4 series and in Meta Runner, where she served as the main character. But then, just out of the blue, she was replaced with another voice actor by the name of Lottie Bourne. A Twitter user at DaveJoeF made a post stating, Hey, I know the VA is not your cup of tea, but please respect it. Tari's old VA is a teacher and already has kids now. She's busy taking care of her family, so I understand why SMG4 hired a new VA. I'm saying this because I see people hate on the new VA and make new hashtags. And then, one thing led to another, Celeste found the tweet and then she replied with, As the OG voice of Tari, I am as surprised as you are. I only discovered that I had been replaced today. Well, I'm sure Lottie is a lovely person and would never begrudge a few- I, I can't even say that. And would never begrudge a fellow actor getting wick. This whole narrative that I was a bit too busy isn't true at all. So, apparently, Glitch lied. And after Celeste's reply, and when the tweet itself blew up, hundreds of tweets were made going after the new voice actor for Tari, which is just pretty stupid. She had absolutely nothing to do with Glitch's slip-up, like, that, that was Glitch's fault, not his. And she isn't responsible for Celeste being replaced whatsoever. But, I mean, it is Twitter, so to be expected, need I say anymore. So in light of this whole situation, the voice actor for SMG2 at Anime America, also the voice actor of Theo in the Meta Runner series, came out with a statement that reads, My Tari, you didn't deserve this. If you're that replaceable, then consider this as my resignation as SMG2 effective immediately. SMG4 should be ashamed for being this heartless and unprofessional. So, yeah, she just resigned as voice as SMG2 on the spot. And this was too big for Glitch to just simply ignore, just like that. So not too long after the series of tweets blew up, the voice director of Glitch and SMG4 came out with a statement on Discord which reads like this. Hey, my name is Jasmine and I'm the voice director of Glitch and SMG4. I wanted to talk directly to the SMG4 community after something that you may have seen on Twitter recently and clear up any concern or confusion. If you hadn't seen it, the voice actor for Tari was recently replaced with a new actress, but with the real sticking point that being that Celeste hadn't been told and is understandably upset. To make everything clear, this was entirely on me and I apologize to everyone. So not a good start so far. <laughs> As voice director, the VA's well-being is under me and the very simple answer about it is because that I forgot to notify it. That's entirely it. You forgot to notify it and you're the voice director for a company. That's cool, with no excuses or reasoning behind it. I reached out to here as well as our other voice actors to apologize for this terrible mistake, but yeah, it's entirely on me for not doing something that I was supposed to. What? And I fully accept if anyone is angry or upset at me, it is as well deserved. While the replacement happened, I feel it's not something to disclose outside of me and Celeste personally and without her permission. Right now, all I can say at this point is sorry to anyone upset by what's happened or if it's like feels- I can't read. Or if it feels like someone at SMG4 portrayed your trust as a community, because I did. It is not the standard that we uphold here in the studio and as the voice director and even as a voice actress myself, I fail to uphold. And if you're thinking this apology wouldn't bode well with the community, You'd be right! This entire apology feels really forced and came out as soon as the situation became public, and basically it's just a generic apology post at this point. Celeste then proceeded to go onto Twitter to write a very lengthy post about how she was replaced and the whole situation overall, which reads like this. Hi all, thank you for your patience and support. I've been waiting to post anything to give for Glitch to hopefully give me a proper answer or at least make a statement. But so many days have gone by and I felt that I should share my story as you deserve some sort of response. And if you want to pause the video and read this entire paragraph because it is pretty lengthy and I don't want the video to be too long, go ahead, feel free. But if you don't want to, I'll just summarize the main points for you. Apparently, Glitch said that she was unavailable but couldn't provide any detail as to why she was unavailable, even though she was completely available and willing to do whatever they thrown at her. She hit all of her deadlines and was more available than she ever has been in her job. I sounded like a news reporter then, Jesus Christ. Celeste sent multiple messages to Glitch asking why she was replaced and just desired more information because again, she didn't know anything about this, she was replaced out of the blue. But apparently she was left on red. Jasmine, the voice director of SG4, claims that she had absolutely nothing to do with a recast and took no responsibility up until she made that apology. Which just furthers my point that she only did it because all this information came public, like... If you really felt bad about it, and you it isn't the standard that you uphold in your company, you should have made a post saying it when Celeste got replaced. It's so stupid. And after this, at Anime America, again, and also the voice actor of SMG2, 
came back with another post with past employees from Glitch and their experiences, and another user replied with screenshots from past employees shattering... Shattering? And another user replied with screenshots from past employees sharing their stories of working with Glitch, such as them having unreal deadlines, being soul crushing, etc. But do take these screenshots with a grain of salt because it is stupidly easy to fake screenshots, especially in a situation like this. Multiple past employees actually came forward with their experiences working with Glitch and what they went through before resigning. So what's the conclusion to all of this? Well, all I could pick up from this is employees good, Glitch bad. And apparently, I, I didn't I didn't know this, but apparently people have been starting boycotts against Glitch Productions and their shows, which is just, yeah, I don't know. But yeah, that's all I have to say about it, really. Um, if anything does change, I'll make an update video, but nothing's happened for the course of one month. So um, yeah, I don't really know how to end this video, so see ya.